Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelica, and in this video, I'll be going over how to allow multiple day breaks. Now, this is useful for situations where you've got the same scene or group of scenes that you want to shoot over multiple days. And so what this allows you to do is put two day breaks next to each other and have all those elements work over the span of those days. But you have to set it up properly, and let me show you how to do that. Okay, so here I am on the strip board, and I'm just going to use day one as an example just to make this uh, an easier demonstration. So let's uh, say that all these scenes in day one are going to span two days. So what I can do to uh, use the multiple day breaks feature is uh, I can add another day break. So I've got two day breaks here right next to each other. Now if I didn't do anything, and let's say I went up to File, Print View, and then Day Out of Days, and looked at the cast member Day Out of Days, and hit View. Notice that I've got some people working on Day 1, and then Day 2 is blank. Nobody's working. So, uh, that's because the multiple day breaks feature isn't enabled. So, we got to enable it. So, to do that, we go up to Schedule, Stripboard Manager, and right now the current active stripboard is this Actor Scenario Stripboard. So I'm going to select it and edit it by double clicking. And notice in the bottom right hand corner here there's this Allow Multiple Day Breaks checkbox. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and click OK. And just close this. Now by doing that, what that will allow is if two day breaks are right up against each other, it will allow all these elements to span those two days. So now, when I go up to File, Print View, and then Day Out of Days, and select Cast Members and click View. Notice that these characters are also spanned across Day 2. Now also, if I go to the report section, let's say I look at shooting schedule, and I make sure that day breaks are included in this report, and I hit View. Notice it says shoot day 1 through 2. So all the elements in these records are spanning across day 1 and 2, which are the two day breaks that are right up against each other. And this can go for more than just two day breaks, but for this example, I just had two right up against each other. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of some of the different ways that you can schedule your elements within scheduling. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just want to send us some feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page, where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.